can't list the shoes off for Zukoma in law, but my take on 25% in FCT was similar to his own. Baron Shimike, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Lawyer Baron Chimaker has reacted after his interpretation of the constitutional provision for the FCT merges with that of renowned lawyer Mike Ozekome San. It is no longer news that several interpretations as regards the constitutional provisions in the FCT have surfaced. Many have argued that the 25% requirement is necessary to be crowned the precedent, while some have said it is not necessary. In a post they made on his page, he shared Mike Ozekome's interpretation, which was similar to the interpretation he had earlier given. In Ozekome's interpretation, the FCT is a unique stick and can be seen as a 37 state, which means that is very important. Below is an exception of interpretation that Mike Ozekome gave. For example, when Section 48 of a 1999 Constitution provides that a Senate shall consist of three Senators from each state and one from FCT Abuja, why then this converses of FCT Abuja being merely states argue that once we have three Senators from each state, we should discard the AND, which gives one Senator to the FCT Abuja and thus deprive the FCT Abuja of its Senator? This provision is one among several others which shows that the FCT Abuja is to be treated distinctly and separately from the other 24 states. There is no ambiguity in section 13, in section 134-2. Had the lawmakers intended that the Federal Capital Territory Abuja would be treated simply as a state and no more in section 134-2 of the Constitution, they would have simply stopped there. There was only to specifically add the new phrase and the Federal Capital Territory Abuja, as in Section 1342B. The Constitution would simply have provided for the two thirds of a state in the Federation and stopped there, but it did not. Reacting Chimaker said, when he told many people about his interpretation, most of them argued, but people can now see that Zekoma also gave the similar interpretation. He said he cannot list the shoes of Zekoma in law. But his take on FCT was similar to that of Sun. Baron Chameka post on Twitter read thus, When I posited that the FCT Abuja is not a state for the purposes of election, and that it has a very unique and special status for the purposes of election, many argued, I cannot list the shoes of Chief Ozekome in law, but here is his interpretation. Okay, still on the election matter. Oh. Still on the election matter. You're still here. And the thing is, it's not going as... Permit me to say, it's not going as... Um, should I say fast? It's not moving quickly. I thought this case was one that was going to be done. You know? I had high hopes for this case. I was thinking that a lot will be going on by now. I didn't know that the sluggishness that's accompanying cases in Nigeria will actually catch up with it. But that is what is happening now. Okay, um, any Bowman is not sincere on anything, 25% is not compulsory. I've said it before, don't generalize. Even if you have a neighbor that is from the southeastern region in your comp as in your compound, and you don't get along well with him, or you feel he's the most wicked person on it, please don't generalize. Eh? No matter what you still meet, the people who had this assertion until they met somebody from a particular region, and they're asking, like, are you sure? I have this friend that is, tells me, let me just drift a little. I have this friend that tells me that, you know, there's a particular place that any, anybody that comes from there is seen as cunning, crafty, you know, wicked. Somebody, you know, you must have a touch. But that particular person was still the same person that told me that, he has this relative, a distant relative. They're they are somehow, you know, related, not really, not nuclear, not even, you know, extended, extended relation. And that he's from this particular place that we talk about. I don't want to mention the name of a place. And he acts contrary, as in he has continued to wow him. He was thinking it was all an act, but... He met him, he has been with him, he has seen him, he has stayed with him, he has lived with him. And that was when he stopped stereotyping. 
somebody can come out from a place or from even a family hmm, and be different, have a different opinion, different views of life and different attitude to life. Do not generalize. Okay, no argument in the issue of the 25%. Let us follow what serving ex-president won before election and sworn in as president. Did Tenebo marry the 25%? If yes, let him be sworn in. But if no, he and our next chairman should be prosecuted and arrested for vote buying and selling of mandate. No interpretation of the 25%. Hmm. Okay, this guy, you're more intelligent than God himself. You should honorably accept defeat than indulging in activities and current that is capable of throwing the country into a state of anarchy. Why is it that any time these people challenge the people in court, People will be coming out, you want to throw the courts, you want to throw the country. Look, see, you cannot use that one to bubble people. You don't understand. This thing, you cannot do something wrong. And uh, you are telling somebody that they should accept it. It's not done. You are an adult, right? You are not a child. Nobody is. You will have children. But definitely in this case, we don't have a child here. You are an adult, a full-fledged adult. You know your conscience told you, no matter how you have shot your conscience, it will still be whispering to you, this thing will do no good. This thing will do no good. After it whispers to you, you decided to carry your coconut head. And you do what it was telling you that this thing is no good. And then you're coming out to tell people whenever they speak against it because it pricks your conscience. Because you know it is true. You're coming out to say that this is going to cause anarchy. Oga. Okay? When you were doing your own, you did not know. Your conscience was dead. Abby. You were the one that used knife to stab your conscience to make sure it does not prick you anymore. It's not possible. It's not. Please, don't out of exactly say that a mortar is wiser than God. This is blasphemy. Even the Bible says that the foolishness of God, well, God, don't go be too extreme. He did not mean it. Abba. Was the is the most astounding lawyer among all the current legal representatives by new in Nigeria. Currently, he and Falana are the only legal nominaries worthy of some title. The rest are lawyers, mere lawyers. Hmm. Keep wondering why a lawyer would see Abuja voters as a special. Do they have more than one head over the eating sand? In the over in the overall equation of Nigeria, why must Abuja be given preferential treatment? The only sensible interpretation is to see Abuja as a state, though it is the smallest territory. Section 9, so now the constitution is clear and unambiguous. One may not blame the lawyers because some of them tell lies to leave. Let us wait for the final interpretation. And that is what I'm saying. That is why I'm saying I'm expecting this case to, you know, move faster. But it's not. But we keep waiting, sitting tight and hoping that justice is given to the people of Nigeria who were raped and disgraced openly in the full glare of the world. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.